Hi, this is Jeromex. Tonight, I'm going to show you an episode on how I prepare my things before I work tomorrow. COVID has changed our lifestyle, the things we buy, and the things we prioritize in life. For me, as a healthcare professional, my health comes first, and the health of the people I live in this house. So tonight, I'm going to show you things I prepare, what to prepare, and what I put in my bag for tomorrow's work. Thank you for watching January, February this year. So I label it again, one to seven. And when I step out of the house, I use a N95 basic nano mask or any of the surgical masks that I have and or this fancy new one this is made of silicone as you can see it has uh, replaceable filters uh, which is N98 or N95 percent filtering effect for those of you who have um, allergies with the materials this is a good uh, option for you it has a silicone um, uh, base that touches your face and basically the the filter doesn't uh, touch any of your uh, skin or uh, mucosa so uh, of course you have to use any of the face shields I have the generic ones that everyone in this country is supposed to be wearing I'm not paid for by this company but I just a patient of mine gave it to me a few months back and uh, this is the one that uh, was given to me and I bought a spare one and after wearing all these gadgets uh, of course I have to wear my glasses on top of it but before I used to hack it I removed the the uh, this part and attach it to the to this pair of glasses or the glasses that I use as an option which is this guy but the problem with with that system is that these guys uh, sort of like the hole tend to uh, loosen after many many uses so what I do I just wear my thin pair of glasses with a very thin temple so it doesn't look and it's you know it's invisible so when you wear it it doesn't look so goofy and so cheesy at all so what what happens if you live in a tropical country uh, and then you wear glasses of course it fogs up and it becomes so hot of course uh, this fan I purchased in uh, in uh, Tokyo uh, comes handy so let's go to the next part of the stuff that I have so uh, either either of this okay I don't wear both of it just whatever is uh, clean and guys try not to uh, if you can use reusables now the world is uh, getting filthy with all this uh, uh, trash due to COVID-19 with all the uh, disposable surgical uh, masks let's try to save mother earth okay moving on I have this uh, painters industrial type of uh, uh, mask the half mask they call it this is the 3m 6200 model it was despised before because it has an exhaust valve so if you can see I removed the other filter on the other side because this is like a upgrade uh, upgrade version because uh, there's like these guys uh, develop like a with using 3d printing technology so I can use my uh, easy flow system which I'm gonna use I'll show you guys in a little bit so you can see the hose is now can be fit into the adapter of the 3m half mass system so you having said that if you use this system 
which hooks up to this uh, easy flow uh, device the the valve no longer works as an exhaust so it protects the rest of the people around me of course it protects me from the people breathing in and out being an eye doctor we are basically sometimes like six inches away from our patients can't help it sometimes I mean, we do procedures like touching the eye removing a stitch how can you how can you be so close and you have like, unless you're like elastic man with an extended hand even how much you have to be really close to your patient so moving on the next part is the easy flow i am not a paid uh, guy by this system i just found out this, about this products product not too long ago so how it works it delivers it it has a built-in filter if you can see so the ambient air that you breathe if you use your n95 isn't filtered at all that is your last uh, area of defense in your body so the solution is to find or to look for ambient air that's filtered using this system so it has a lanyard as shown here it's charged by uh, uh, micro USB to any of your iPhone or whatever Android phone or whatever's iPad or whatever tablet system you have 1.2 to 2.1 ampere doesn't have to be very strict on the amount of amperage as long as you know 2.1 will make your fast charging it charges for about six hours one ampere will last you for about eight to ten hours uh, of course uh, the battery lasts for about 16 hours I have to test that if it really does reach 16 hours so moving on you have you see here you have two hoses one is about 400 millimeters the other one is 300 millimeters you can attach the, attach this directly to whatever mass that you have like so or you can use an extension this is the 200 the 400 and the 300 millimeters an extension as you can see the one of the hose is already attached to my N95 uh, mask you can see here this is the air portal that it's called this is connected to the, your uh, the hose this is made of silicon by the way this can be washed with the soapy water or any of your uh, solutions that you use to uh, disinfect any of your uh, medical devices uh, of course um, it's best to have uh, an extra pair because as you know this might be a little tricky on when you we have just only one pair it might be tricky that the, there might be some water inside in uh, water that's not that's trapped in your silicone and you breathe it uh, it might be contaminated potentially contaminated by by uh, super bugs like pseudomonas or whatever bu uh, bugs you have there so i bought an extra pair there so well uh when you're in the age when you're middle age you will have to tend to may have the tendency to lose these air portals because they're tiny and so i bought like a good number reserved there for about 10 then i can uh, also make a, as a reserve so um by the way you can you can attach for those of you who have uh, sometimes it's cumbersome to make a hole on the uh, this 3m n95 so what you can do you can use a magnet this is attached to one of the hoses here and you you there's a magnet i'll show you uh, how it's done uh, focus on that again so if this is the hose and you see sure like a, a strong magnet and uh, attached to that and uh, so the air the air goes in to your mask so it's what we call a positive pressure so the mask forces the air to exit 
from to exit from the edges of your mask so you breathe in cooler air so if you can see here on the moving on I have an N95 with uh, it's an industrial purpose it used to have an exhaust valve here which I removed and re and, repl and placed a uh, air portal and I sealed it with a silicon glue so it's now basically an, a sealed system now I can I can still use I have two boxes of this N95 I hate to go into waste because uh, I don't want to be selfish and use continue using this myself protected but everyone beside me isn't protected I think that's um, that's pretty selfish if you do that so moving on so what else do I have in my bag of course I use hypochlorous to uh, alcohol tends to uh, dry up your skin so this is hypochlorous this is um, vinegar and salt water which is which undergoes uh, distillation and electrolysis so that's don't I don't advise you that you make your own on that so this is 70% um, ethyl alcohol in a sprayer or I just hang it in my pocket and then of course on top of the N95 I use a regular surgical mask like so as you can see so I just dispose of this every day and then of course I can use this put it in a bag so this is easier to sanitize or I can use this I have a uh, UV um, tote box which can uh, disinfect uh, all of these except the uh, the the N95 is not advisable to use a UV with an ozone producing system so moving on I also have some dry uh, artificial tears lack refresh to because uh, all of this there have been studies showing that mask and everything causes induces dry eye and what else do I have in the car alone I use hypochlorous so this guy emits uh, aerosol hypochlorous aerosol so immediately within the car after work myself and the rest of the things I bring from work is already sort of like sterilized so what else do I do immediately after work I gargle uh, I'm not paid for this you can use Listerine or Bactidol or any of the non-alcohol based uh, uh, products to to kill the virus it's what you've inhaled and that stays in your oral cavity so I also monitor myself what's so after you know if you're in the operating theater operating room for a good number of hours you tend to be hype you, the PCO2 level especially before I had this system was uh, well people say that the PCO2 level doesn't really go up but I tend to disagree yeah I, in the video you see some a lot of videos showing it for just a couple minutes but hey but if you're like four or five hours six hours in the operating room try it and you know you get dizzy with the PCO2 level uh, hitting your brain and uh, you get dizzy with it, with it so I have this PCO2 uh, pulse oximeter you know, it's it's cheap and uh, I also chew a gum to make my you know it's nasty when you when you wear a mask and you hardly talk uh, what happens is that your your your, uh, your saliva gets yucky and especially if you eat in between your work so try to have some kind of gum uh, with uh, some uh, I forgot the name of the chemical without your readers so what else finally I have my UV wand here so my whatever ball pens cell phones the end of the day I uh, wand, wand and the UVC of course guys most of those cheapy imports don't provide your goggles on so a word of warning from an eye doctor you have to wear a must you have to wear a UV protective goggles like so or as you can see my my glasses here is actually a pair of glasses are 
my pair of glasses are UV protected so sometimes I forget this or wherever I, I put them I, I use them and I'm fine of course you have to avoid your skin you don't want to have a skin cancer after all this COVID and you end up how many years after you end up knowing that oh yeah in hindsight I use a lot of those UVC so if you can see looking back there how COVID-19 has changed my life and for the things that we buy for to protect ourselves and our loved ones it's amazing isn't it uh, so I'd just like to share uh, to everyone who's interested in what I do what I what I um, how I prepare myself before a, a day's work and of course uh, it's a no-brainer at, at the end uh, when you upon going home uh, I leave my shoes outside of the house uh, it stays there outside uh, of course three days after the, theoretically uh, the, the virus is killed um, of course we all know that the viruses needs a, a host so it doesn't survive on its own so of course we also have like those uh, uh, mats that are exposed with bleach so we step on it for a couple minutes just leave our shoes outside and of course we take a quick shower shampoo and shower uh, uh, when when you go home wash your hands most important thing guys you have to wash your hands after every step step when you remove the filthy stuff that you brought home this is the most important thing either soak your hands uh, thoroughly with um, some disinfectant like 70% alcohol or the hypochloros there or wash your hands for 30 seconds to to a minute uh, you do yourself a favor and the rest of the house uh, uh, household members that you have uh, thank you for your time for listening to this lengthy uh, COVID-19 um, hack or lifestyle change that I have. Thank you. Have a good one and be safe.